in the realm of Eldoria, a land shrouded in mystique and steeped in the echoes of ancient legends. There lived a mad king named Robert. His rule was marked by a malevolent grip on power, his decisions driven by paranoia and cruelty. Yet, his most grievous mistake was the spoiling of his son, Sir Edwin, who grew up in the shadow of his father's tyranny. As Edwin matured, he became a mirror reflection of the Mad King's darker inclinations. He reveled in the luxuries afforded to him, caring little for the suffering of the common folk who toiled under his father's oppressive regime. But even within the despair of Eldoria, a glimmer of hope emerged. A humble knight named Sigaming rose above the masses, not through birthright or treacherous ambition, but through his unwavering heart and the genuine love he held for his people. Sire Gaming was renowned not for his lineage, but for his deeds. He spent his days tending to the needs of the poor, offering solace to the downtrodden, and rallying the hearts of those who dreamt of a better Eluria. His humility, compassion, and courage were like beacons in the darkest of times. The people yearned for a leader who understood their struggles, a monarch who would lift them from the shadows. Sire Gaming's deep bond with the people made the king, and Prince Edwin see him as a crown threat. And this is the beginning of an epic battle, and who's the real worthy to the throne? Your castle awaits. In the game's early years, I strategically established vital structures like stockpile and granary, forming the foundation of my budding realm. These essential buildings paved the way for the growth and prosperity of my evolving state, setting the stage for a grand and strategic adventure. And then stationed a woodcutter near woodlands, allowing me to shape and extend my structures, weaving my kingdom's destiny with each deliberate choice. And then I positioned essential food sources, alike apple farm, a dairy farm, and a hunter posts. Nourishing sustenance flowed into my expanding realm, ensuring my subjects' well-being. I dispatched a scout to the king in Sir Edwin's lands, seeking insights into their progress. Observing their growth and resources, I gathered valuable information that would shape my own state's journey. Knowledge gleaned from their realms would guide my strategic decisions. Next, I established a treasury, initiating taxes on laborers to accumulate no gold, change a crucial resource for advancing my realm. Arise, yeoman. And then I elevated my realm to yeoman rank, unlocking crucial buildings that propelled my progress and broadened my strategic horizons. With wood flowing to stockpile, I erected hovels, welcoming more residents into my realm and fostering its growth. Arise, squire! Gathering honor, I swiftly elevated my realm to squire rank, embracing newfound opportunities for growth and advancement. Next, I established some iron mines, securing a valuable resource. My intention was to trade iron for gold and forge armors, strengthening my position. I erected a lord's kitchen and some pig farm, earning honor through efficient food production for the lord. This honor fueled the training of archers and pikemen, bolstering my forces for impending challenges. I dispatched scouts once more to the king and Sir Edwin, awestruck by their state's remarkable progress. Their development was inspiring, offering valuable insights for further shaping my growing realm. Arise, knight! Swiftly, I ascended to the rank of knight, driven by a desire for greater influence and resources. This advancement promised new possibilities and challenges on my path to dominion. I initiated construction of a gate and courthouse, addressing vital needs within my realm. 
I established an armory and barracks, initiating the early training of archers as a formidable defense against potential adversaries. Preparedness became paramount, ensuring my realm's safety in the face of impending challenges. Setting up Polterner workshops, I manufactured pikes for trade and the training of pikemen, a pivotal addition to my growing military force. These workshops fueled both my economy and defensive capabilities. Arise, Knight Bachelor. Progressing further, I attained the rank of Knight Bachelor. This elevation marked a stride towards greater influence and power, propelling my realm towards new frontiers of prosperity and authority. Harnessing the iron from my mine, I erected armorers' workshops to craft armor for my pikemen. Outfitting them for battle, these workshops fortified my forces and enriched my realm's capabilities. We are on our way! I directed my trained archers to hold positions atop the hill, ready to repel surprise attacks from adversaries. Their vigilant watch ensured my realm's safety and deterred any potential threats from advancing. Facing a scarcity of stone, I traded surplus iron to purchase essential stone resources. With this, I commenced constructing protective walls around my keep, fortifying my realm against potential intruders and solidifying its defenses. I quickly rallied pikemen and archers to defend my keep as Sir Edwin's army approached. Training in haste, we readied for the impending clash, determined to protect what's ours. Pikemen, forward! Our troops are under attack! Sir Edwin's army advanced relentlessly. I responded by training more troops to bolster our defense. With determination, we prepared to face the incoming tide, readying ourselves to repel his forces and protect my state. I shifted my archers, extending their range as Sir Edwin set up his siege camp near my doorstep. Anticipating the impending assault, I aimed to disrupt his plans and maintain the upper hand, ensuring that his siege wouldn't go unchallenged. Our troops are under attack! Weapons needed, sire. Recruits needed, sire. An armorer has turned to crime, my liege. Right! Parkman, advance! Woman, make ready! Lordship! Yes, sire? Look sharp, lads. Recruits needed, sire. You are really beginning to annoy me! Taking down portions of Sir Edwin's army and his siege camp, I gained an edge. Now I embarked on a cautious yet swift advance, pushing forward with a renewed confidence. The momentum was on my side, and I aimed to seize the opportunity. An armorer has turned to crime, my liege. Your mark, sire. Recruits needed, sire.
After obliterating Sir Edwin's second siege camp, I pressed forward, conquering his property state by state. With determination fueling my troops, we pushed through the battle-torn lands, inching closer to victory and dismantling the remnants of his once formidable forces. Aye, sir! Let's get going! Right! Sir Edwin persisted, sending catapults and spearmen to weaken my forces. Their attempts, though relentless, fell short. My troops held firm against the onslaught, weathering the storm and emerging unyielding. Our resilience stood as a testament to our determination and unbreakable spirit. Archers moving! With the nearest state secured, I directed my archers to seize the next territory. Their arrows flew true, clearing the path for our advance. As we moved forward, the landscape shifted under the banner of progress, inching us closer to the ultimate victory. Amid my campaign against Sir Edwin, the crafty king seized the opportunity to erect a siege camp at my vulnerable back door. Caught off guard, I scrambled to defend against this unexpected threat, realizing that my focus on one front had left me exposed on another. Surrender or die with your lord and master approaches. Captain! No change in the treasury, Lord. Thankfully, I swiftly eliminated the intruders, albeit with some casualties in my state. My decisive action halted the immediate threat, demonstrating the resilience of my forces. The battle left scars, but my determination remained unwavering as I prepared for the next challenge. Despite the king's ambush, I resumed my campaign against Sir Edwin. Our forces regrouped and pushed forward, advancing steadily into the next state under his control. The setback only fueled our resolve, propelling us toward victory with renewed determination and unwavering focus. We move! Sire! We're on the move! Captain! One by one, I conquered Sir Edwin's states, leaving him with nothing. With each hard-fought victory, our grip tightened, diminishing his influence and power. The battles were fierce, but our relentless pursuit culminated in his ultimate defeat. Having secured all states from Sir Edwin, I rallied my troops in the last stronghold, preparing for the decisive assault. The moment had arrived to end his tyranny once and for all. With a united front, we readied ourselves for the final battle. To breach Sir Edwin's walls, I erected a siege camp and trained ladder men to aid our ascent. With ladders in hand, we embarked on the perilous climb, driven by the belief that victory was within reach. Troops are under attack! Action stations, lads! Right! With my troops poised for battle, the time had come to vanquish the king's son, Sir Edwin. Their readiness was palpable as I issued the command for a full-scale assault on his keep. Determined hearts clashed as our forces converged in a climactic Ooh. showdown that would determine the realm's fate. With the Laddermen's success in placing the ladders, I swiftly ordered archers to seize their tower. Simultaneously, pikemen charged into Sir Edwin's keep. The coordinated assault aimed to disorient and overpower, striking at the heart of his defences. Ah, 
News of Sir Edwin's defeat at the hands of Sai Gaming ignited across Seldoria, sparking jubilation among the people who yearn for change. Cheers echoed through the land, a testament to their longing for justice. However, within the halls of the castle, the king seethed with rage, his heart consumed by a thirst for vengeance, blinded by anger. He vowed to eliminate Sai Gaming his desire for retribution eclipsing reason. The struggle between the people's hope and the king's wrath intensified, each side determined to shape the destiny of the realm. The echoes of the past battled against the promise of a new dawn, and the clash of these forces would decide Eldoria's fate. The conflict remained unresolved. While Sir Edwin's defeat brought joy, the people's demand for the king's demise hung heavy on Sai Gaming's shoulders, with determination. He gathered his forces at the king's keep, resolute in ending the cycle of tyranny. The battlefield awaited, a final confrontation that would decide not only the ruler, but also the legacy of Eldoria. The weight of hope and revenge merged as Sai Gaming's steps echoed toward the heart of power ready to shape the realm's future. With Sir Edwin defeated, I led my remaining troops in a swift advance towards the King's state. Determined to end this conflict for the sake of Eldorai's people, I charged ahead, the weight of their hopes propelling us forward. Captain! Come on, lads! As my forces readied for the ultimate assault, I seized a strategic opportunity, setting fire to the king's food resources. The act disrupted his state's functionality, sowing chaos among his ranks. Deprived of sustenance, his forces faltered and their strength waning. I swiftly trained Laddermen to scale the king's walls. Their preparation was crucial for my troops to breach the formidable defences. With determination, we aimed to conquer the towering obstacle and face the king's wrath head-on, pressing forward with unwavering resolve. With destiny hanging in the balance, the moment arrived to launch the ultimate assault on the king's stronghold. Hearts brimming with resolve, our forces advanced, driven by the desire to end his reign of tyranny. The clash between power and justice would define the realm's future. To the walls! Pikeman, forward! Action stations, lads! Just say the word. Parkman, advance! Shoulder pikes! We move! A peasant has gone bad, sire. The downfall of the Mad King and his son, Sir Edwin, 
ignited widespread celebration throughout Eldoria. Gratitude and admiration poured towards Sai Gaming for his heroic deeds. Word swiftly traversed the realm, uniting its inhabitants in shared jubilation. Amidst the festivities, Sai Gaming's name resonated as a beacon of hope, the people's voices intertwined proclaiming him the new true king of Eldoria. A tide of change washed over the land, and the legacy of courage and compassion carried by Saige became a symbol of the kingdom's revitalization. United under his leadership, the realm began its journey toward renewal, leaving behind the shadows of tyranny and embarking on a new era defined by unity and benevolence.